Good morning, students. Let us begin the poem, The Worm by Thomas Gisborne. Uh, let us know about the poet. Thomas Gisborne was born on 31st October 1758 and he died on 24th March 1846. He was a highly respected and evangelical priest and poet. Now, what do you mean by evangelical? Uh, an evangelist is a person who seeks to convert others to Christian faith. So, he was a preacher of Christianity. And Anglican means uh, relating to or denoting the church of England. Uh, he was a gifted writer and a knowledgeable student of plant and animal life. Let us know what's there in the poem. So children, uh, this is a short poem that gives a great message to humans. The poet tells us that every creature on this earth is created by God for some purpose and each one has its own role to play in this world. Uh, we will see through this poem. The poem gives a wonderful message that we should respect every creature and we have no right to likely take away a life which we cannot give. The message supports the famous proverb, live and let live. Uh, children, the tiniest insect or creature has its own life cycle. He may come on this earth for one day or may have a longer lifespan. Whatsoever, but it is the creation of God and God has made each one or rather designed each one according to the task assigned to it. So, we should all follow the mantra of live and let live. Let us see the structure of the poem. The poem is written by Thomas Gisborne. The tone of the poem is serious and thought-provoking. It compels the reader to think over the message. The theme, uh, the theme of the poem is respect every creature, big or small, for each has their own, for each has its own role to play in this universe. Uh, the structure of the poem, the poem is composed in four stanzas of four lines each. The rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B throughout the poem. Okay, and the figures of speech, here you will learn a new figure of speech that is apostrophe. Rest of the three, repetition, inversion and exclamation, you all, all have learnt in previous classes. And uh, language used... Uh, what we can say is there is ample use of archaic words. Uh, you know what are archaic words? These are the words which were used in Old English and are not commonly used in present state. Okay. So, before we begin the poem explanation, let us do some warming up exercises. Children, uh, think and write down how the following creatures can be useful. Although I have uh, mentioned all the answers, you can also search for more, more uses. Okay, so a dragonfly eats mosquitoes and flies and also controls unwanted insects. The spider keeps insect population under control. Uh, we have seen ants. Uh, what, do the, what role do they play? They turn and aerate the soil and help in seed dispersal. Uh, what do you mean by aerate the soil? It means it perforates uh, the soil and, uh, 
and with small holes to allow air water and nutrients to penetrate the soil uh, to the roots it is the process by which air is circulated in the soil okay uh then comes the honey bees children we have a wonderful poem in unit 4 where we'll be learning more about honey bees so here uh, uh how is honey bee useful it produces honey and it helps in pollination and uh, earthworms earthworms loosen the soil turn organic garbage into vermi compost now what is organic garbage organic garbage is something which is biodegradable uh, uh it includes green waste or food waste etc uh, last year uh, in 7th you must have prepared compost so that was all uh, organic garbage converted into compost right now let us see the next question little creatures in nature can also be your teachers think and write what we can learn from the following now children uh, there are many lessons that we learn through nature uh, it is commonly said that nature is our best teacher so Uh, let us see uh, about these four insects what all things we can learn so children as i told you that we'll be learning more about bees in the unit 4 so but still here bees from bees we can learn organization hard work and self sacrifice and uh, from ants what do we learn uh, we learn teamwork importance of teamwork hard work and discipline okay next is the spider spider teaches us the lesson of patience and perseverance children do you all remember the story of the king and the spider uh, king robert the bruce had uh, taken shelter in a cave after he was defeated by the english army his spirits were broken uh, so he hid in a cave he uh, sitting in the cave he noticed a small spider attempting to weave a web the spider tried and failed over and over each time the spider fell it climbed back up to try again finally the spino spider managed to spin a web robert the king was inspired by its success and this incident raised his spirits so a tiny spider uh, could inspire a strong king he learned the lesson of patience and perseverance and next come the comes the caterpillars children caterpillars teaches acceptance of change uh they tell us that change is an inevitable change is inevitable in life so we should learn to adapt the change uh in the next uh period we shall be starting with the uh poem explanation for today uh we shall stop over here